Hey everybody, thanks for jumping on our team Zoom. Today is Monday, May 2nd, 2016, and we have some awesome content tonight with our newest diamond coach, Lisa Cipriani. But before I get to Lisa, I'm going to do a little bit of recognition because um, you guys had such a good month. It was like, well, I don't know if we've ever had that many rank advancements in one month. I was such a proud mama bear. Uh, but let's talk about the past week. So congrats, Lisa, leading with volume with 400 PB. And then everyone who hit success club, uh, Maria to, to, oh my God, you're gonna have to help me with the last name girl. But let's say Maria and Lisa Cipriani had Success Club 10, Rebecca McFarland, Marina Kunajeris, Jennifer Dwyer, Monica Bass, Kat McMaster, Rabia Master, Amanda Berry, Chantal Badalamonte, Rachel Vellis, Sarah Riblin, Vanessa Paternoster, Jennifer Roy, Chrissy Menwery, Elaine McDonald, Caitlin McDade, Andrea and Calcaterra. Awesome job, you guys, for hitting Success Club. Those might be too small for me to actually read. Um, <laughs> but we had a lot of people that were almost there. If you guys are almost there, you can hit Success Club. The only thing you need to do differently is increase the number of people that you're talking to and make sure that you're following up. The fortune is in the follow-up. And so my goal at the beginning of every single month is to hit Success Club 10 by the 10th of the month. I don't do it every month, but like that's my goal, to start out the gates strong. And I follow up with everyone that I talked to the previous month, and then I, like, I come out strong with my invites. And so I'm already at four, and I'm going for 10 for sure by the 10th. And so don't leave it to the last minute and start stressing about success club because then it really sucks. And then it becomes something stressful. So just make it something like, all right, I'm going to go really hard the first like week or so of the month. I'm going to hit it, get it out of the way. And then you can spend the rest of the time focusing on your team and helping them hit success club. Okay. Congrats to our top team builders of the week. Andrea in Calcaterra, Anne Laura Pass, Elaine McDonald, Jillian Brunswick, Christy Menwery. Kristen Jones, Mackenzie Flanner, Flanagan, Maria Titino, Melody Viscusi, Rachel Vela, and Susan Thomas all added new coaches to the team this past week. Awesome job. New Emerald coaches, um, Brianna Dufflo is an Emerald coach, as is Mackenzie. And then we have a new diamond coach. Yeah, Monica. That's my girl. Proud of you. Um, and then our coach of the month is Maria Titino. This girl, uh, she's a newer coach, but her first month hit Success Club 10. Second month, she led with Success Club 14 on our team. Um, she already has five personally sponsored coaches, and she's going to be diamond, like, really, really soon. Um, and check out all those rank advancements, you guys. Seriously, you did an awesome, awesome job. So let's step it up in – this month in May, let's surpass what we did last month. Let's help more people. I know we have it in us, so let's do it. Um, all right, so announcements. May groups level two is starting today. We're not doing a level three this month since we still have the diamond push for by May 18th. And a lot of you guys are so close to diamond, like so close. And so if you're struggling with those emeralds, that is the hardest part usually. Um, go back to the Amber Snow call that we had last month. It's on my YouTube channel. And so she spoke to us about developing emeralds on your team. That was a really great call. Um, so go back, listen to that. Emeralds are usually the hardest part, but if you have, I became diamond. I controlled my husband's account. I controlled my mom's account. And so I just focused on sponsoring coaches. And then obviously you, you do want to attract builders. Um, and so in our new coach video series, we have videos on attraction marketing. That's going to help you attract coaches who want to build a business and want to become Emerald. Um, so you're not just getting discount coaches. <clears throat> And then I created a poll in the group and it looks like doing a sneak peek this upcoming Monday, a three day sneak peek group beat out a webinar by like double <laughs> um, when I voted. So we'll do a three day sneak peek this time. Not saying we're never going to do another webinar because I loved it. Um, so we might just alternate, do a three day sneak peek and then do a webinar. Um, so we'll see. I'm totally open. Whatever works best for you guys, honestly. Um, so we'll do a three day sneak peek starting Monday. And if you need scripts to invite, they're in our Google Drive. Go to the folder presenting the business opportunity. And then inside there, there's a folder called Sneak Peeks. And then there's an entire simplified steps on what you should like invite to people, what you should say, how you should follow up, everything for the entire Sneak Peek group. So invite, invite, invite. Make it your goal to have at least 10 people in that group. Let's really fill it up. And it's going to be awesome. Okay.
enough of me talking because I feel like I'm going to lose my voice now, Lisa. <laughs> ironic um but we have one of our newest diamond coaches actually speaking tonight so, yeah. hold on hi everyone hold on i muted you so i could finish introducing you because it was like echoey um but lisa is a rock star coach this girl has just come out she's hit success club consistently she hit diamond and i have a feeling she's going to be star diamond really really soon and she has a lot of value to add to us tonight so make sure you have something that you have to take notes with and everyone close out facebook close out email all the other distractions let's focus right now um and lisa it's all you girl okay great i just have to uh, warn you my voice may or may not hold out as you all know i was supposed to do this presentation last week i got laryngitis and i'm still kind of um coming back from that so if you can just by a nod, can you all hear me decently well? Okay, I see you nodding, so it's not so bad. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this will be the first time I'm doing a, a share screen on a Zoom. I've done it in other uh, forums. So, Rachel, I'm going to give this a shot. I have some animation, as I mentioned, in my, my PowerPoint. So I'm going to try to go full screen and see what happens. Um, <clears throat> so I'm assuming I'm just going to share screen here. And so do you all kind of just see like a runner dude? Y'all kind of see that? Okay. So <laughs> let's try to do this in full screen so it's a little nicer. Can everyone kind of see this? Is it all working out? Can you hear me and see it? Okay. That's so far so good. Okay. So I'm a little cheesy with innovations, but I just thought it would be a little more interesting and full screen is a little nicer. I do have some images and, and text as well. So the whole point of me doing um, this Raising Your Frequency event is because as you all know, if you're a new coach or a more seasoned coach, um, personal development is part of the daily behaviors, um, and it's part of the vital behaviors for a good reason. And the reason why I really want to talk about this is because I feel that it's often overlooked. Once you start getting into your challenge groups and you start getting excited about finding new challengers, you're making sales, you're getting commission, I find that's where you kind of like, oh, okay, I don't need this anymore. Um, but what I've learned, and even right from the very beginning, is how surprising it was to me that... PD or personal development was so useful and how it needs to be a daily part of your routine and for good reason is why Beachbody has it there. Um, but just to backtrack a little bit, I think it's important for those who don't know anything about me to kind of have a sense of where I'm coming from. So I only discovered Beachbody as a company um, in 2014. I was struggling with poor health, which primarily had to do with being overweight, um, a good 30 plus pounds. Um, having had my first child, not having taken care of myself properly um, in the years prior to that. So, um, and of course, in addition to that is, you know, when it rains, it pours. There were a lot of personal life struggles going on. There were family issues. There were financial disputes. And this was kind of across the board. So 2014 was a very rough year. I use the word disharmony because that's what I felt like. That's a physical and a mental feeling. And, and that's where I was coming from. I had a very unbalanced work home schedule. Um, and I was really not living to my best potential in any way, even though I was the owner of a growing business. So um, my background, besides being in fitness and working as a personal trainer, was younger. The past 15 years, I've worked in education. So until recently, I owned a business that was um, in the educational industry. Um, and it was a growing business. Uh, it's not that it wasn't going well, but there was something going on with me and my health that needed to change. Um, and at that time, some life patterns had taken hold. But I just didn't know it yet because I didn't have the PD knowledge to recognize that. That's where I was coming from before. So the picture you see on the right is me a good 35 pounds overweight, completely unhealthy, um, and just not having a good time at all with anything. Um, following that, um, I discovered psychology thanks to my wonderful childhood friend and upline coach, Marina Kunikaris. Uh, she introduced me to Shakeology, and she says, why don't you give 21 Day Fix a try? Um, so I kind of jumped in with that, started doing really well, had an awesome round, and then in September 2014, just more bad stuff came my way. So family strife, financial strains, more disputes in the extended family, and I just kind of strung myself along. I wasn't planning on being a coach at all. At this point, I had been a discount coach for nearly 14 months. I love Shakeology, and I just, of course wanted to stick with it because I knew there was something there. Um, but it wasn't until September 2015 
that I really realized that, you know what, this is bringing me back to the days when I used to work as a trainer in a gym. I'm enjoying this. I want to be, again, in a position of helping people, but in a different way, different than you do when you're a teacher or an educator in an educational environment or a classroom setting. So I was determined to do better. So I just said, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to be an active coach. I'm going to do it for real. There's no more joking around anymore. My health is not a joke. We got to do this. But still, no PD. I had no idea where I was going with this. Um, luckily, of course, Beachbody is quite organized, and upline sponsors are good about getting you the basic training you need. So um, I started with my coach training and trying to do the daily actions. And so, of course, the discovery for me was personal development. Um, but I have to be honest, I asked myself a lot of questions. So, for example, do I really need this? I'm a confident person. I was a business owner at this time. I was running a company that had 55 employees. I was the owner and the head of this company. So confidence wasn't my issue. But what I failed to understand is that PD is not about confidence necessarily. It can be if that's what you need. But PD is so vast. And for me, it wasn't confidence that was missing. So then I said to myself, well, I'm brand new at this beach body thing. I don't know a thing about challenge packs or anything like that. Shouldn't I be focusing on tech stuff like getting better at social media. At this point, I was barely scraping by with Facebook. That's how pathetic it was. Maybe I figured I should be learning more about how to sell challenge packs, kind of focusing on the sell aspect. Again, missing the point. I failed to understand that personal development is a lot more vast than we just think of self-help books and you know, gaining your personal confidence. And then, of course, I said to myself, well, this sounds very time-consuming. How am I going to make brain space for all of this? How am I going to make room for this if I have to learn everything about beach body coaching, how to run a challenge group? I've got to learn scripts. I've got to learn all of these things. I thought I can't do this, and I just figured let me just start simple. So if you're a new coach listening to this tonight or you're a coach for a while that you're kind of stuck in a rut and you know in your gut and in your heart that you've been ignoring personal development a little bit, I'm hoping that this is going to speak to you. So in the beginning... I didn't have a whole lot of time. I was struggling to figure it all out. I was still owning and running this other business. Um, so I just started with 15 to 20 minutes of podcasts. I'd be driving my son to work or to appointments or to my other office for my other business. And so I just started listening to Beachbody podcasts. And I thought, I can do this in the car. I became addicted to Sean T's Define Your Life podcast. If anyone knows that podcast, uh, you know why I'm so excited and I have this big ear-to-ear -ear grin right now. If you haven't discovered it, please do. It was really um, an eye-opener for me because it's through Sean T's Define Your Life podcast that I started to understand that um, you need that boost of positivity in the morning. Um, and it really changed my overall mindset for the day. So I would start off driving my son to daycare, listening to some PD. And by the time I got to my office, I already had an entire podcast listened to. And my day just started off on a positive foot. So even though I was going through a very stressful time, so I was in the midst of selling my business to pursue other life goals, the PD just started to slowly creep in. So thanks to Shanti um, and Beachbody Podcast, that's kind of how it started. So if you don't really know where to start, this might be a good insertion point for you. But of course, I couldn't just leave it at that. So classic, da, da, da. if you haven't read You Are a Badass, please, please, if you do nothing else after watching this, get yourself a copy of this book. This is really where my feet just stood on the ground and I said, wow, what have I been doing the last eight years of my life? So this book, um, in a nutshell, really teaches you a heck of a lot about limiting life patterns and beliefs, okay? What you don't even realize about yourself. I mentioned earlier, life patterns have taken hold, but I didn't know how to recognize them. I now immediately knew how to recognize when I was falling into an old life pattern. I also learned that you get what you tolerate. So if you tolerate people treating you badly, that's what you'll get. If you tolerate people treating you like you're not worth anything, that's what you'll get. If you tolerate people telling you you can't do something, that's what you'll get. So I learned to recognize that in myself and in other people. So of course, the overarching idea here is to change your behavior, you change your patterns, and you change your thought process. And everywhere throughout this book was peppered ideas about raise your frequency, raise your frequency. And I finally understood what it meant through this one book alone was where it all started. Uh, and then I have this little comment here, my tests. The reason why I put this here was because during the time that I was reading this book, 
again, was a time of very uh, harsh personal strife in my family life, um, in my personal life, and in my professional life. Uh, so I had multiple tests, people testing me, situations testing me, everyday life testing me. If it wasn't for understanding the real important crux of this book, I don't think I would have made it through the fall of 2015. And I'm telling you that right now because it's the absolute truth. You might think, how did you get this book to be so important to you? If you read it, you'll understand how it'll stop you in your tracks. And almost every second page, you'll say, oh, my God, that's me. Oh, my God, that's me. I've just recognized myself in that description. So if you haven't read this book yet, please, if this is the one thing you do and this is the one place you start, forget everything else I say tonight, get this book. I promise you it's worth it. So I was tested a lot during this period. And because I was um, taking PD seriously, it got me through a very difficult period in the fall of 2015. I follow that up um, with understanding that personal development helps you to break limiting patterns. So you learn about yourself, you learn about others, but you also learn that you actually have control over every situation, but particularly and especially your reaction to it. Um, and that's where I think we get stuck is we think that everything's happening to us. Well, it might seem like that at the beginning, but until you realize that you actually have a stronghold on how you react to a situation, um, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be in quicksand and you're going to sink. But it's kind of like this image here says, when you complain about something, you make yourself a victim. But if you can leave the situation or change the situation or accept it, because everything else is just madness, you're just spinning your wheels. And that's what I realized through taking PD seriously, is that it's not just about self-confidence. It's about actually understanding how to react in the world and in the universe that we live in, which is very complex, but can be very beautiful. So that was one thing. If we were to go and kind of take my timeline, I also learned that not only do you learn a heck of a lot about yourself, but you learn about how to deal with other people. And you might hear raise your frequency a lot tonight, but it's because it was in almost every single aspect of the Beachbody coaching PD that I did. So like this image says, you know, the universe is not punishing you when something happens to you. It's also not blessing you when something great happens. It's just simply responding to the vibrational attitude that you put out there, that you're emitting. So if you're emitting positivity, it's going to bounce back to you. It reverberates. And I didn't understand this at the very beginning until I started taking this a little more seriously. And I have true life examples that I will present to you momentarily. So you'll see what I mean. Um, and of course, you know, it's all about energy. So I'm not going to read every single image that I have here, but this is a famous quote from Einstein about how really um, you just have to go after what you want by matching the frequency of the reality that you want. And inevitably you will obtain that reality. So raise your frequency, break those limiting patterns. I followed this with the compound effect, which is the classic. I hope you've all heard of it by Darren Hardy. He is a big, 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 big name in um, personal development. Um, and he just happens to be super popular with beach body coaches and for good reason. The compound effect is really a personal development book, but I would also argue it's great for your business development as well. Um, it taught me about consistency over time, the small daily efforts that add up to major accomplishments. you got to set solid goals for yourself and dates to attaining those goals. Um, and so there's a lot of similarities with the Beachbody coaching and a lot of the stuff that Rachel posts. Um, and I, I could see a lot of that mirrored in this book. And again, Darren Hardy, there you go again, raising your frequency. He talks a lot about that. And one of the really interesting things that he talks about a lot, and you hear it in this book and you hear it in the audios if you listen to it, is to give what you need. So whatever it is that you're struggling with, that you feel you lack right now, you have to find a way to give that to somebody else. So it may sound crazy, but you know what? If you're strapped for cash right now, find a way to make a donation. It will reverberate. It will bounce back to you in a way that you need it at the moment that you need it. Um, and sometimes we like to feel in control of everything, but sometimes you do have to learn to let go and say, I'm going to give what I can give. If you feel like you're lacking time, you don't have time to get everything done in your busy day. You've got kids. You maybe have another job. You're trying to successfully be a beach body coach. You're trying to support your challengers. Give time to somebody else. Call up a challenger. Chat with a challenger on Messenger. Give them that time that you feel you don't have. It's going to bounce back to you. It's really amazing how this works. I hope this doesn't sound too, um, you know, wishy-washy for you, but I got to tell you, it works. Um, another classic from John C. Maxwell. Rachel, I know, has talked about this before, failing forward. Um, 
I actually picked up this book because of one of Rachel's Zoom calls where she talked a lot about it. And I said, well, I got to find out what this is all about. Um, and here's where you really learn, again, PD, but I'd also argue it helps you with your business, turning past failures into opportunities, finding the teachable moment in every crap thing that happens to you that you're like, why is this happening to me? Find the teachable moment. You got to be honest with yourself. Are you really doing everything you said you were going to do to be successful? Because if you're not doing every single little thing that you said you were going to do, it's, it's difficult after to, to look at yourself in the mirror and say, yes, I did everything I could today to be a good beach body coach, to do my vital behaviors. If you're not being honest with yourself, you're going to get stuck. And once again, it's kind of like that quicksand. It goes pretty quickly. Um, also, again, similarities with beach body coaching. Talking about raising your frequency, emitting out into the universe what it is that you need. So another really good, awesome book. And if you're not much of a reader, you don't like to read, they have audios. Listen to it in the car if you have a long commute or running your errands in the day while your kids are at school. Um, a new book that I discovered that actually was just released in early spring, it's called Presence by Amy Cuddy. Um, Amy Cuddy is somebody who's done TED Talks, if you've heard of TED Talks, and this is a really interesting book about bringing your boldest self to your biggest challenges. I argue that it's PD, but once again, it can be also kind of loosely called business development as well. This is actually about your physicality of your body, so how your stance and your body language affects your total presence. Really fascinating book. Um, if you like sign of a little bit more of a scientific book and you think that everything I was saying before sounds wishy-washy, read this book and then you have the scientific explanations on a neurophysiological level. So we hear a lot from, you know, um, badass fans about fake it till you make it. Well, this book actually talks about that, but on a neurophysiological level, how power stances and power positions, physical positions that you stand or sit with in your body can have a neurophysiological change on your thought patterns. So once again, fake it till you make it, and again, raising your frequency. Really fascinating stuff, and they have a lot of case studies, but actually in business and formal work environments, how um, creating this neurophysiological change can actually change the entire atmosphere of a business meeting. So imagine your Zoom calls with your challengers, or your Zoom calls with your team, if you're a coach who's growing your team. This is stuff you want to know about. You're up on camera like I am today. How would you want to be presenting yourself? Um, meeting with your team in person. Those of you who are going to summit and you might be meeting your teammates for the first time in person. Something to maybe pick up before summit this summer. Um, of course, uh, a really good one is Girl Boss. If you haven't read it already, this is a really hilarious, very much like you were a badass book. Um, but this one is a little bit different in the sense that it really drags you through the trenches in the sense of if you think you had it bad, read her story. So this is about turning rough life patches into learning opportunities. She talks about faking it till you make it all day long and raising your frequency. Bringing your A game is something that we like to say we do. But until you really feel what it feels like to bring your A game, it's all talk and no action. So you got to check out Girl Boss. Also learning from your screw ups. Um, she talks a lot about her mega screw ups and how she turned that around. Tons of similarity with beach body coach training and pushing through adversity. So another really great book to pick up when you have time. Before Summit would be great. Um, here's where we get to some practical stuff, stuff that I do in my private time. So vision boards. You've probably heard of what a vision board is. So what I do is... Um, I, well, I made a vision board in January 2016. The year was coming um, to a start, and I said, I've got to make 2016 my year. Uh, I made two vision boards, actually. These are actually pictures of my actual vision, vision boards. So one is on the left, my actual coaching, uh, Beachbody coaching vision board, and then you have on the right a personal vision board, which is for personal family, home life, finance stuff that I needed to fix. So I made these vision boards, and every day for three months, first thing in the morning, I would grab my sip of coffee and I would just stare at them silently. It takes two minutes of my day. That's the equivalent of an awesome podcast. It's the equivalent of getting your Darren Daily. If you don't know what that is yet, I'll explain it later. Um, this is what I do every morning for about one to two minutes. I stare at them. And in my mind, I remind myself why each of those little cutout pictures is on the board. Two minutes goes by fast, but damn, does it ever start my day off well. So what happened after doing that for three months? Suspense. I'll let you know in a minute. But before we go on to what actually happened for me doing that, I want to talk briefly about affirmations. You probably already know what affirmations are. Essentially, you take a desire that you have and you turn it into a phrase in the present tense. So it could be something like, I'm a diamond coach. I'm hitting success club this month. I'm meeting team builders. I'm a strong leader. I'm living my full potential. I'm debt free. I'm in control of my life. I'm changing lives every day. Whatever it is that you want to live and breathe and be all about, put it into a phrase in the present tense, as if it is now, it is happening. 
Um, I do this as well. And how do I do it? Well, there's different ways of doing it. It can be a powerful minute in the morning. When I'm lying in bed right before I actually get out of bed, with my eyes still closed under the blankets, I say my affirmations. Sometimes if I jolted out of bed because my son woke up or he got out of bed before me, um, I'll say my affirmations in my head with that first sip of coffee before my brain really wakes up. Um, in the shower, I've done this in the shower, believe it or not, so shampooing away, you know, saying my affirmations, it's all good. Um, before you drive off in the morning, if you're sitting in your car and you're just about to drive off, if you can say them out loud because you're not shy to do it or say them in your head before you drive off, focus before you hit the road. Bonus, repeat it at night. So turn a desire into a phrase in the present tense. So like it says, whatever your mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. If you're not doing affirmations, I'm telling you you're missing out. I used to think this was a little bit cheesy and a little bit embarrassing. When I started to do it, you're not going to believe what happened. I will tell you in a few minutes. So when I started to do these things, everything started to change for me. So within three months of taking PD seriously, I told you I only did my vision boards in January of 2016, so that's not that long ago. Within three months of doing these very few little things I've been talking about, I sold my business, the one that I was struggling with. It was eight, nine years of my life wrapped up into it, and the right person came along, it fell into place. One of the difficult extended family situations that I had going on rectified itself. Every day in my affirmations, I told myself this was going to work out. This is working out in the present tense, and it did. I started growing my team. Team builders came forward. Then I was offered an amazing career opportunity that suited my desire for a better homework balance that I could do along with Beachbody. Emerald to Diamond. There was a big one. Um, this just recently happened, for those who don't know, um, and this is all within three months of taking PD seriously. And fun stuff, I finally got off the wait list for Summit and I got my ticket that was on my vision board. If you didn't notice it earlier, there was a big cowboy boots, I'm going to Summit thing, and I told myself it was going to happen, and it did. So if you don't think you can change something, if you can't change it, you have to change the way you think about it, like I did with my affirmations, like I did with my vision boards. So you can do one of these things or you can do them all, but you have to be doing PD. So how do I do PD in a day? It's recommended 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I do more. So you already know I do my vision board. First thing in the morning with my first sip of coffee it takes about a minute. I also subscribe to Darren Daily. It's an easy thing. It goes in my emails, either a video or an audio. It's awesome. Darren Hardy gives you a good pep talk in the morning and he sets you straight, I'll tell you. He sets you straight, he's real, that guy. Okay, I read from a current PD book that I have, five or 10 minutes, like the ones I've presented to you. Um, I do podcasts in the car. I still have to drive my son to and from daycare, whether I'm working from home or not. He's gotta go to daycare, he's gotta go to school, so I drive him while I'm washing the dishes, while I'm folding laundry. You can do PD anywhere, guys. Um, another way I do PD, and this might sound weird, recognition, celebrating, recognizing others' achievements. Remember how we talked about putting out what it is that you need? Well, if you need to rank advance, celebrate others' achievements doesn't have to be necessarily just peach body related, but in your social media, whatever is your biggest platform and your loudest platform, recognize others' achievements. Challengers in your challenge groups, friends, coworkers, people on your team, your coaches, and be grateful. The attitude of gratitude was a major thing that I picked up on from You Are a Badass, and it's changed my life ever since because gratitude does change everything. From Darren Hardy, this is something that he shared on an audio um, that I – I had a, a copy of, it's an audiobook. He says that every morning before he wakes up with his eyes still closed and before he gets out of bed in the morning, he sends love and positive thoughts to people who may need it. So literally, it could be someone you know, and he actually goes as far as to say, it could just be someone you heard about on the news. You don't even have to know the person. Put it out there, emit it into the universe, put it into the atmosphere. Send love or positive thoughts to somebody who may need it, who might be in a difficult situation. Make a mental list of the things you're grateful for in that moment. This is gonna sound really silly, but when I do this, it really makes me realize the small things. It can be as simple as being thankful for your warm bed that you're in in that moment with the blankets over you. Being thankful, knowing that in five minutes' time, I'm going to have a hot cup of coffee in my hands, in my pajamas, in a home that I can live in. That so many people don't even have those things. Um, and then, of course, you can take an extra minute if you're still lying in bed and say your daily affirmations in your head. This stuff works. I cannot express it more. So by doing these things, everything starts to change. Yes, that's me. I got all guns and roses <laughs> getting the ring in that picture. This was an Instagram picture that I took 
I was feeling really powerful after coming back from a workout and just thinking about all the PD stuff I did. And this Instagram picture just got so much attention. But you know what? It's the epitomization of how I was feeling and how PD makes me feel. A little bit badass, a little bit stronger. Um, pretty much everything that Beachbody wants you to feel while you're helping other people change their lives and doing the same for yourself. So I started to feel the power of what I was doing. Um, I refused to give in to the demands of others that were trying to drag me back into the patterns of the past. And I'm going to tell you, and I said it before, without PD, and this is why I think it's so important, I may not have been able to withstand the pressures of the last few months with regards to daily life stressors, very, very negative people around me who resisted my desire to change, even to the point of attempting to sabotage my efforts. If some of you know people like this in your personal lives. Please focus on your PD. Do not focus on them. Um, I don't have time to tell you the stories of people trying to sabotage what I was doing, but it'll happen, and it may happen to you as well. I got through it, and I'm telling you it's because of PD. It's not because I lost 30 pounds. It's because of PD. Falling into old habits of emotional eating in times of stress, that was my issue. It's no longer my issue. So because of PD, I was able to just put on those boxing gloves. I got in the ring. You have to get in the ring now. It's your turn. Fight the fight of your life, but do it with PD. I am changed now because I took PD seriously. So I have to ask you guys, did you do your PD today? I don't even think, when you look at this picture, that I'm the same person. I don't look like the same person. I don't feel like the same person. The person on the left is someone I used to know, but I don't know this person anymore. And that's okay because of PD. There's no excuse not to get your PD in, guys. You have multiple ways. We've got Success Magazine in our online office. We've got YouTube. We've got podcasts. They're free. We've got books. We've got vision boards. You can do them on your own time at home. Did you do your PD today? I want to know. You can post it in the chat. Guys, my team is moved to be fit. I'm Lisa, new diamond coach. I hope you took something away from this. I'm really excited to have been able to have the opportunity to speak with you tonight. tonight. And thank you, Rachel, for giving me the chance to do this. I am so fired up, girl, you killed it. Oh my gosh. You guys, I hope you took good notes. And Lisa, you have to post these slides on our team page so we have it. I am recording this, but that was so good. Everything that she said was spot on, especially the affirmations. Like, I can't even, I've written down some affirmations, some like crazy ones, like I'm a Beachbody challenge winner, I'm in a top infomercial, just like random off the wall things that I wrote down every day for months that actually happened. Just like this stuff, is, it really does work. It like plants the seed in your head and everything that she said was right on. Uh, so I made homework for everybody is to create 10 affirmations in the positive. So I am a five-star diamond coach. I earn $2,000 a week, whatever it is that you are um, in the future. I am a leader. I am a, you know, a good public speaker, whatever it is that you want. Um, write down to them and post them in our team page tonight. And then every single morning before you start your power hour, I want you guys to write it with pen and paper old school. Write it down what you are. Um, I'm telling you, it's such a good game changer. Holy crap, Lisa, you inspired me, girl. I can't wait to go back and watch this recording. And you have a lot of feedback. Let's see. I okay, how do I get out of here? I have to put stop share, right? I'm so not techie. It's okay. Do I stop share so I can see everybody's comments? Yeah. Well, Angie said, Lisa, you're amazing. <laughs> Susan said, I have an alarm reminds me every day. Angie said, you've inspired me. Rachel said, uh, you look awesome. This presentation was awesome. Jeff said, awesome job. You're inspiring. Say she said, awesome, Lisa. Thanks, Lisa. That was awesome. You need to stop finding excuses not to do affirmation. That stops today. Yeah. Dude, you got everyone. Yes, um, you got me fired up. I was about to go like play on Snapchat and I'm like, crap, I'm going to go read that book that I got. Um, <laughs> so you got me fired up. Does anyone have any questions for Lisa or anything else that you want to talk about today? Go for it. I still have some voice. I can do it. <laughs> yeah, you're a trooper. <laughs> this is not my real voice, by the way, guys. If I ever speak to you again, which I hope I do, I won't sound anything like this, but that's okay. I was kind of hoping it would evolve into like a sexy kind of voice, you know, but it, it didn't happen. So <laughs> laryngitis, is, <laughs> laryngitis is a pain. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, you killed it. Dude, I can't even wait to see where you'll be a year from now. Like, you're going to keep this up, and it's like mine will be blown it's gonna be crazy oh 
we're walking across that stage together. Then that's that's gonna happen. Heck yeah. All right. <laughs> Everyone decide what audiobook you're gonna download. Or a lot of these are free on YouTube. So failing forward, John Maxwell, free on YouTube. Um, so before you buy it, look for it on YouTube. If it's not there, then look on Audible. And then in our Google Drive too, there's a whole personal development folder and a lot of stuff is in there. So also check that out. And the success on demand tab in your coach online office. So you have so many resources. There's no excuses. Um, okay. Any questions? Any last thoughts? Any last words? Nada. Okay. Rachel, Rachel you, hit, you hit the nail on the head when you said there's no excuse to get it done, which is why I ended my presentation with that because you know, even if uh, finances are an issue right now, you're just starting, there's so much free PD out there and there's PD that you create for yourself. Yeah. You're in charge of your affirmations. Nobody else is. If you just start with affirmations and you, you put that into your mind and you say to yourself, this is going to be my PD for the next week, give yourself seven days of that. And I guarantee you, you're going to feel differently at the end of the seven days. And it costs you nothing. It costs you nothing but a minute of your time. And you gain everything. You gain a positive mindset. You gain belief in yourself. You get stronger mentally. And then that, of course, in turn, because you should be doing your workouts, gets you physically stronger as well. It gives you the push you need to get off the couch. Heck to the yes. Jennifer says we all want to go read now. I think we all want to go do some personal development. And then crush some invites, y'all. Um, cool. All right. Well, I'll try and get the recording up tonight or tomorrow morning. But Lisa, you're amazing. I'm so proud of you. You're seriously a rock star. So thank you. Thank Thanks you. for getting on. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody. Thank you.